can nootropics make you smarter permanently? What are nootropics and why do Silicon Valley founders and CEOs have them as their best kept secrets for high performing mental states? In this episode of Inspired Conversations, I have invited my new favorite nootropics expert, the amazing Mr. Nutz. You're gonna get to know him <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, the founder of Nootopia Nootropics, a company which has completely shifted my brain, my mental and physical energy, and I can't stop sharing with others what these nootropics did for me and how to create this superhuman mental state. So I'm very excited about these episodes. Welcome, Mark. Mark Effinger, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so good to spend some time, Pavelina. Thank you. Thank you so much. So happy to have you here. I've been taking uh, your nootropics for the past two months. And I want to, I want to, first of all, thank you. You've become a Newtopian? Yes. <laughs> I don't go back now to how I was before. <laughs> I want to thank you because I really needed this for a long time. I know it's in your company, so it took a while to come to me. But now that I found your company, I, I want to share what happened. I want to share why I have you here on YouTube. Um, first of all, um, and then let's go into the questions and what are these nootropics and how can we optimize the brain? So my story is that um, three years ago, I suffered a mental and physical burnout. After 15 years of running my business, I didn't have the energy anymore. I didn't have the stamina. And I took one year to heal by taking different supplements, taking IV, doing different tests, alternative treatments. And I was feeling gradually better, very, very slowly, but I never completely fully recovered and was who I was before. And then the pandemic hit <laughs> right after. Yeah. And I feel that during the pandemic, we all went through some kind of mental burnout. So I found myself feeling like, like year two of the pandemic, it's like, oh my God, my burnout isn't over yet. I also had a back injury, a couple of small health issues, which put a bigger strain on me. So I didn't have the energy and the mental capacity to do the things I was doing before. Uh, before my burnout, I kept procrastinating on very important projects. I had lower confidence. I was dueling all the time on things that went wrong and I wouldn't move on. I couldn't focus long on a task, constant brain fog. Um, and I tried all types of supplements and brain supplements. And I was having a little bit of a, a shift, but not much improvement. And then I was talking to a friend about all this and he mentioned nootropics and, and specifically Nutopia. He said, you should take this. And because he's a very trusted friend and a very successful entrepreneur who I don't know how he does what he does and living the lifestyle and make it, making it look so smooth. Uh, and he's so calm going through <laughs> a lot of things, growing his business. So I ordered the nootropics. Yes, I have it here. <laughs> well, so today, today I'm on, on the power solution and on the Zamner. Yes, that, that is a, exactly. I like that's a super favorite combination. Whenever I had like a difficult task, a long day, things to get done. So the change was instant. Like it, it was amazing. I suddenly gained the energy, the stamina to do all my projects. I started working, <laughs> stopped procrastinating, mental clarity, laser focus throughout the day, brain fog and mental fatigue was gone. I get things done much faster. Like I sit and just get things done. <laughs> Better memory. I, my creativity came back. And I'm better now. I feel more intelligent. Um, I have more confidence. So much. And I don't get the most important thing for me. I don't get stuck in the past anymore and things that went wrong. I used to do that a lot. And I just let go of things and just move, move on. And as you can see, also, I gained back my, my verbal fluency because I'm a speaker. So now I can talk again, videos. So all these things, right? So Thank you. And I want to know what are nootropics? 
what are nootropics and what are the benefits of taking them? I just described what happened to me. I had to meet you. I contacted the company. I said, I want to know more about what you're doing. And they said, you need to speak with Mr. Nutz. And we actually met once before. And I said, we don't only need to meet. I need to put you on YouTube. Uh, and you need to share your story because it's amazing. So. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <Let's start. laughs> well, so, so nootropics are, um, are a effective way to be able to basically program your states, your operating states, um, starting with the brain, going into your physiology as well. Obviously the brain is going to articulate your physiology. So, um, and they're, they're basically neurochemical transmitters, right? Neurochemicals that, that are going to be, uh, are going to modulate in different ways in the brain, serotonin, dopamine, noradrenaline, right? So, um, there, it's really critical to be able to program those neurotransmitters and to be able to say, I need more of this and less of this um, and, and to be able to do that. So neurotropics are a, are a uh, you know, safe, often extracted neurochemicals of the amino acid family. Um, and they, they provide these very unique characteristics and can, you, can, you can do everything from program how long you want to have a certain effect to how intense you want to have that effect, or you want to be able to dampen a certain effect, you can do that as well. So it's a great way to create states and to be able to put yourself in those states on demand and program them like you want them to be. So these are neurochemicals that we naturally have in our brain and, and nootropics help, help balance them or boost them. How does it work? Uh, how do we balance these neurochemicals? Is there a way to balance them naturally? And what do nootropics do uh, versus natural things that we can do? Well, so, um, so almost everything we do is extracted from either amino acids or from plants. Mm -hmm. So we try to stay kind of within that family. Mm -hmm. There are some lab created components, um, very minuscule amounts. We call them subclinical amounts um, of certain things because they can give us a really nice result or they can extend a result. But again, we stay um, below the threshold of, of anything dangerous. And all of the stuff that we create is has what's called an LD50 of zero, meaning that you can have an unlimited amount of this and it's not gonna cause you to, to have a, a problem. So, but as far as neurotropics and programming states, what one of the things that, um, as I was developing these products and I started in, in um, my first adventure with neurotropics started in uh, 1994 or so. And, um, and I started working with vinpocetine and huperzine, which are called acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. They basically keep the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine, which is the learning and thinking neurotransmitter. They keep it from breaking down. So it continues to circulate and that helps you to keep your thoughts going longer. Uh, in your case, it may actually cause you to have these repetitive thoughts that cause you to go into a problematic area. And that's why we have things like Xaminer juice that program GABA. And um, so, but well, that's but why what, I stop having my repeated negative thoughts now. <laughs> I some of this. Yeah, it's, it's great. Well, and, you know, we developed this. Um, this was actually a request from a client of ours who ran multiple medical establishments in the Pacific Northwest. And she was constantly being caught in traffic. Like if you were in LA, like Los Angeles or, or uh, Venice Beach, it's constant traffic, right? On the 405. There's even songs about it. So um, I made this for her originally to get rid of road rage because she would get so, so out of her head going, I got to get there. I got to get there. And there's, you know, a stack of cars ahead of her. So I made this and it's sublingual. So I made it so that you could just take a couple sprays under the tongue and it would work almost immediately so that she wouldn't have to wait for, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes for a pill to take action or anything like that. So, but, but the, the, the promise of nootropics is to make you think clearer, think better, and to program states. Mm -hmm. When I was working on the original process of this, my, my former wife had just committed suicide from an oxycodone overdose. And so I was very frustrated with the whole medical establishment. Um, we were very much into natural health. In fact, our children were all born at home. So um, so in fact, our, our last one, which was born in front of the couch, her name is Livy. She actually works for us still. 
She's great. Um, she was born on a couch in front of the fireplace. It was beautiful morning birth at 11 a.m. And um, but my my wife, who was small bone, she tore a little bit. So they handed her four oxycodone. The midwife handed her four oxycodone and she fell in love. She found her muse. And a decade later, after after she hit it for about the first five years, six years. And then after that, she couldn't hide it anymore. Um, and she was clearly addicted and she was she was going out to every little doctor in town to get them to prescribe it for her including even having a carpal tunnel syndrome surgery done, even though she didn't have carpal tunnel syn uh, uh, syndrome in order to be able to get painkillers. I mean, it's that there's, uh, there's ads on US television of somebody slamming their hand in a door to get oxycodone because it's such a, a you know, epidemic. Um, so that led me into why do people get addicted to drugs? What keeps an addict from going and seeking you know, seeking help right away. And what I found was that it's expensive. It's embarrassing. It takes six to 12 or weeks or six months. In some cases, they're going to be in therapy for, for years, if not forever. And then the, the other thing is they're going to be addicted to something when they get out. Very typically, they're going to be on another drug or another med <laughs> the way out. So it's kind of a like, like and they they found the recidiv recidivism the um, the number of people that actually go back to their original drug or another kind of drug is so high that they just felt it was fruitless. So when I started working with addicts um, at a little a little facility in Oregon, um, what I found was that if I could get them clear headed, which are what the nootropics helped, and I could do it quickly, so they just got off the paddy wagon, they're stoned out of their minds, we get them clean and we get them nootropics, they start thinking clearer. Mm -hmm. Then if I could, so now they're making better decisions, right? Because they're thinking clear, they're not all messed up from the drugs and the drugs telling them, you know, the drugs speaking for them instead of, or through them, right? Then the other thing was, oftentimes the drugs that they used um, would get, you know, would provide energy, right? There would be speed or meth or something similar. And so they would suddenly be de unmotivated because their dopamine stores were, you know, they were depleted. Or, and serotonin was down, so they felt like crap. They didn't have a good mood. And so what we did was we found that if we could um, replace those, right, with precursors, this is the key to neurotropic, to the stacks that we developed, are if we could replace those neurochemicals with the precursors so they would create the neurochemicals, and then we could ping the brain. We could basically signal the brain to say, I want more of that dopamine, or I want more of that serotonin then those people would have the energy and the motivation to go out and execute on those good, those good ideas. And that would help create success. So the idea was, okay, so I'm gonna help you think clear. I'm gonna get you out of your funk. I'm gonna help you think clear. And then I'm gonna give you the energy to execute. You talked about burnout in your own life. Mm -hmm. That's a critical thing. I'm a, I'm a serial entrepreneur. This is company number 19 for me, Newtopia. Yeah. So, so, you know, and, and I've been through the whole building a company, getting it to a certain level and selling it or building a company, getting it to a certain level, hiring a CEO to run it and going and starting another company or going, growing a company to a certain size and then suddenly having the bottom fall out of the market and suddenly, you know, going bankrupt or whatever, and then having to start over from scratch. And so those have take their toll on you. And we entrepreneurs, we think that we're indomitable. We think we're bulletproof. We think we can work 20 hours a day because we're motivated, but mm -hmm. Fact of the matter is your body's going to tell you at one point, no, dude, you can't, you can't, you're not indomitable. You're not bulletproof. And we're going to show you how you and I share that same experience where I woke up one day in 1993 and I'm, I'm sitting behind my computer. My wife at the time was in the other room. Um, she was doing a bunch of administrative tasks for me. And I walked into her office and I said, honey, I've been working on the same client for three hours. I don't know. I don't know what the project is. I don't know what the objective is. I don't know what day it is. I think I'm losing my mind. And she took me by the hand and said, honey, you're really good at starting these things and you're really good at selling them. It's just that stuff in between you don't like. <laughs> and we took a walk around the, around the block and, and, um, and agreed that maybe I should package this thing up and sell it, which we did. 
And, but I was in total burnout mode and I ended up going to a bed and breakfast that happened to be owned by a doctor. I had no idea. And he took me by the hand and he, and a really super nice guy, about 75 years old in like absolute impeccable shape, like, you know, athletic and, and, um, and he just asked me like 20 questions. Gosh, I noticed your hands are a little cold and clammy, but it's a nice April day. What's the deal? Um, I see you've got red eyes. Have you been drinking or is it something else? And, and after that, he says, you know, I think you might be hypothyroid. And he just took my, you know, my basal metabolic temperature every morning for, for the four days I was there. And, and he got me on thyroid and it changed my life. And I thought, oh my God, if this one little component, this one little neurochemical, this one little biological asset can change my life that profoundly, what else is out there, you know? And so that got me into the, gosh, maybe I should explore this. And I did, I, I, I dove deep into, into, you know, biology and neurochemistry and diet and exercise. You know, I was already an athlete, but, but, you know, focusing on what athletics at when am I going to get the best results and how do I really get my performance up? And it was, a, it was a life changer. So I realized that I wasn't indomitable. In fact, six months after this, just, just under six months after this, um, a guy was starting a company very similar to one of my previous companies, a laser technology display company. And he was going to do lasers in movie theaters. So they're going to take advantage of the movie theater screen and, and have laser light shows in movie theaters. Very cool idea. Loved it. And he flew me out to New York. I'm in a, uh, I'm in a, uh, uh, an investor's penthouse meeting room. And they're a huge conflict. Two geeks, you know, two scientists, who want to do this thing, two theater owners and a handful of investors. The investors want to invest, but the, the and the theater owners want to get the technology, but nobody can agree on what the terms would be. And I, and I walk in and you know, when you're so healthy that you can read the room, you can read, you know, like when you've gone and done public speaking, right? Mm -hmm. And you see some rooms are going to be really tough. And you're going to have to really prove yourself. And some rooms are really loving and warm and, and, yes. you know, inviting. Right. And this was a tough room, mm. but I was so healthy and I could, and I could read the heart of what they were trying to accomplish. And I literally grabbed a marker. I got up and spun around to the whiteboard and I just started, I had no idea what I was going to write. I had no idea what I was going to do, but within 15 minutes, I had them laughing within 30 minutes. I had a deal done. I, you know, I, I kind of outlined what the problems were and stuff and everybody was in agreement. And, and it was that moment, that aha moment where you're going, this wasn't me. This was me at a higher state. This was me at an almost spiritual process where I was, I was operating outside of myself because I was so healthy. Mm -hmm. My mind was so together. I was in alignment with who I was as a human being. I was doing the work I was meant to do. And I was in front of the people that needed it the most. And all of those things in alignment changed my life. And, and, you know, here we are, right. This is many years later, um, you know, and, and you and I are talking about the fact that if you, once you get your neurology working really well, and then you back it up with good physiology, your body's working really well, hmm. the things we're able to accomplish and the, and the recovery for you and I recovery has been huge. And getting to a point where I actually feel like I can be a rock star again, that was a, that was a, a, first I was in disbelief. Ah, no way. Right. Nah, I've tried everything. No way. And then the, the little glimmer of hope as I started compounding these things, there were 3000 formulations to get to the first one to what we call nectar X. It took 3000 formulations to get to the first version of this. And now we're on like version 300 and something. It's crazy. But, but nootropics are, became the gateway to changing my, to changing my mind, to, you know, to, to giving me a better, op an opportunity to view life through a, a window that wasn't scarred by the traumas in my life. It wasn't damaged by my lack of energy because I burned my adrenal gland and, and, you know, and my thyroid sucked and, and uh, my acetylcholine stores were depleted. My dopamine was out the window and, you know, um, and then put me in a state where once I've realized I could program those states with these, these neurochemical precursors, right. And then I could signal and say, I want to have more of that dopamine or I want to have more of that acetylcholine. Then I could go to places that I could never go before. So that's kind of 
my experience with nootropics and a lot of, you know, thousands and tens of thousands of our clients as well. So. Yeah, that's, that ha that's so similar to my experience. Now I'm, I'm new at this. And what I want to say to people listening, because some people, I have two, three questions that people might have in their mind right now. So one question is that, you know, is it safe? Right. And what I sure. want to tell people uh, is um, every, uh, these uh, little boxes they give you, <laughs> so it's not very good with the, with the background I have now, but you have all the ingredients on. And my mother is a, is a healer, uh, an alternative healer, and she's obsessed with all kinds of supplements. She's been studying them for 20 years. She knows all the substances. So I read to her the substances. And yeah. she said, oh my God, these are like the top substances you can take for the brain and for the body for optimal health. Anyway, it's like you optimize your health and what I learned uh, when I got my burnout and I went to different alternative doctors and the help of my mom is that sometimes you are depleted of different substances and you don't know there is a chemical oh, yeah. imbalance and whatever you do, how, however much you sleep and you rest, you don't recover back to where you were. And I had these traumas and all these things that were lingering there. And once I took these things, it's like, I didn't care anymore. I was over it. <laughs> I was over it. <laughs> And it's amazing. So people, first, they, they question, is it, is it safe? Second, is it addictive? Like, do I need to be on it all the time? No, can I, can, I, can I answer those? Yeah. Yes, it's safe. Um, again, there's, a, there's, a, um, there's no known LD50, meaning that any of the individual components in there have no known. What they, an LD50 is, is and when they have rats and they're doing rat testing, mouse testing on, mm -hmm. on chemicals or on vitamins or on, on drugs, meds, is when 50% of the rats die, that's the LD50 dose. Mm -hmm. There's no known LD50 for any of the components we have in here. So in other words, the rats stay alive and they get smarter and then they take over the world. So, um, so that's one kind of, the other is, is it addictive? Um, no, and, and in fact, here's, here's one of the cool things is once you start, as you experienced, Mm -hmm. Once you start restoring your brain and restoring your hormone levels and restoring your, your overall health is your baseline is enhanced, meaning that instead of operating down here, like the, the way I put it is if you have a, 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 a minus 10, which is like, you know, I, I want to go away. I want to disappear forever. And a plus 10, which is I am in the greatest state of enlightenment, you know, I've ever experienced, right? I call it or orgasmic enlightenment, right? Mm -hmm. If is between that, you've got a zero line, somewhere between that. So you got minus 10, you got plus 10, you got a zero line. Zero is your baseline. Now zero is your baseline when you're healthy. But a lot of people are operating, they might be operating at a one or two or even three in some areas, but they're also operating at a minus two or minus five or minus seven in other areas. So when I was going through this, this process of, building these solutions, I found, I, I developed a, a, a scale called sick to superhuman mm -hmm. and sick meant, and, and I was dealing with, with um, over a thousand beta test cost clients of mine before we ever, ever released a product. And I owned a brainstorming software company with about almost 400,000 customers. And these were the, the, you know, Nike, gray advertising, um, Motorola, Amazon, um, I, I, you know, Apple, Microsoft, uh, big high tech companies and tons of advertising agencies and tons of writers and comedians and pastors. They used our software to think creatively. So I had, I was very fortunate. I had this incredible list of super smart people that I could send samples of crappy tasting powder to who trusted me and, and they would take these. And so I started building it up. And what I found was this really interesting thing is I had them fill out a profile of how old they were, what sex they were, what they, you know, um, how often they ate, what kind of foods they ate, what kind of health condition, how often they exercised, all of these factors. And then I used those factors to kind of get a pulse on who these people were and what my, my stuff made them feel like or work like. And then I gave them a feedback form that they would fill out to let me know how they felt. And what I found was that everybody was sick somewhere. It was either, well, I'm on statins or so my cholesterol is, was messed up, or at least my doctor said that. 
um, or or they're um, or they're on an antidepressant or um, they don't exercise. They they consider themselves healthy, but they're a hundred pounds overweight, or right. And so there, there's this like there's this thing. So I found that everybody was sick somewhere, and that if we could identify that and help to systematically eradicate that, then we could bring them to what I call suboptimal. It's not the ideal, but at least it's better than being sick in that area. And it doesn't mean you're sick in every area. You can be a superstar performer over here, but you go, you know, you go back and and you gotta you gotta kind of like bring that one area up to speed. So that's suboptimal. And then then you got to then when we got to from suboptimal, we could take them to optimal. And optimal was kind of like that zero line, that that baseline. But then we found that if we could tweak our formulations even more and encourage them to get outside and get more exercise or to breathe deeper or to meditate or to do something that would enhance their lives more, we could get them to super optimal. And super optimal was like their best day plus some, right? Plus 20%. And when that led to, well, if you can get them to super optimal, is there anything else? Is there anything left? And, and then we found that, <laughs> that we could take them to Marvel territory and we could make them or we, no, we couldn't make them, we could help them become superhuman. And that was kind of the goal. And that's kind of the promise of nootropics, of, especially through movies like Lucy or like Limitless, are um, that superhuman thing, that Bradley Cooper being a loser writer who looks like a homeless guy, taking the one pill from his ex-brother-in-law and suddenly cleaning his apartment, writing the best-selling novel and becoming a senator, right? I mean, when you first take Nutopia, because I felt like that, I couldn't create my content. I was procrastinating. I had courses to create. Actually, the first week uh, is like... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to rewatch that movie because I'm like, I'm getting things done. Like, then you get used to it. I mean, you get used to this. Right, right, right. But then the first week was a, was a shock, <laughs> how everything changed. Well, so, and that's, that's part of the deal, Pavlina, is that... Um, is that you can, so, okay, so you get to that point, you go, oh my God, this is great, right? And then you get, you get accustomed to it. But what you'll find is that what you're accustomed to is now a higher level of performance, like the procrastination or the, or the, or the pain or what Stephen Pressfield calls the resistance, right? Is in, instead of going, facing your resistance and going, okay, Cheetos and Netflix, you go, no, 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 no. You're not winning today, resistance. I'm going to win today. You get that little bit more power. What what the nootropics will do is when they bring you from that sick to superhuman status, is that's permanently changed your baseline. You can quit taking them; it's fine. You can take them, and you can once. The reason I still take them is that I really love to finesse the nuances of my output. If I have to write for a long period of time, I know just the components to take, just the amount of power solution to sip over what period of time, what components, I, like I, I'll eat grapes often during a podcast because I'll get a little bit of that glucose thing, right? If I'm not in ketosis and, and that will feed my brain a little bit because the brains, my brain is sped up and I'm doing a lot more synaptic activity. So, and glucose is good for that. So there's, there's these tricks that you learn or these systems or processes that you can then apply on demand. So you don't need to, you can take it, get up to speed or have the experience like one of the examples is what people are doing right now with microdosing of, of like, you know, psilocybin and those things. When they do those things, what they're doing is they're, they're putting themselves in a certain state and then they're reflecting, they're becoming an active observer and they're seeing themselves in that state and going, oh, okay, now I know how to go there. Mm -hmm. I can go there. I know how to go there. There's a new neural pathway being built here and they just go, okay, I know how to tap into that neural pathway. And that becomes a permanent thing. You groove it in over time, very much like I'm a tennis player, is I learned to play tennis by hitting against the wall and following these, these still shots of famous tennis players and going, oh, that's exactly how Ilya Nastasi hits that slice backhand. Here's how Guillermo Vilas hits that topspin backhand, right? And I would just memorize that. The same thing is happening in your brain. You're grooving in this neural pathway and going, okay, instead of, instead of, of Netflix and chill, I'm going to go, when that, when that thought comes in, I know the other thought, which is hold it. If I get that paragraph done, that blog post, that video, that if I, if I presented that meeting that I'm afraid to go do, 
I'm going to get something out of that that's going to change me for the better, or it's going to improve my life. And you start reinforcing that behavior. No, you don't need to take the nootropics all the time. Just build those behaviors. Let the nootropics do their work. Build the behaviors. Rebuild your brain. Rebuild your body. And by the way, these are not just brain nutrients or brain supplements. Every one of our, our so and this is not a pitch either. This is just the way we had to build the products. In fact, it's probably one of the questions one of your one of your uh, uh, clients have asked. But like, is it just nootropics? No. What I found when I was building these is that to, in order to make a nootropic work, I needed to get rid of problems that most people are suffering from already. So I, I put a heavy antioxidant layer in the product so that we, have, we get rid of oxidative stress that might keep you from performing well. Hmm. And then I said, okay, so now we got oxidative stress taken care of. What's next? Well, a lot of people have problems with stress or anxiety. So what if we put an adaptogen layer in there? Great. So now we're going to do an adaptogen layer and that keeps your adrenals from running, you know, rough shot over you and, and burning you out. What else? Well, I think a lot of people are, are, are low on B vitamins and C and some of the other um, elements. So let's increase our B vitamin levels and let's bring those up because that'll be a great baseline now for us to be able to put the nootropics on. Well, then when you put a nootropic, when you enter a nootropic into your system, um, you know, you ingest it in some way you're going to start burning choline a little faster, acetylcholine, which is the, the thinking neurochemical. Well, so let's give it a, 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 what they call a choline donor. Let's give it an acetylcholine precursor so that your brain can create more acetylcholine and not deplete it. So we do that. And then one of the things that the brain does when it starts, it starts um, performing at a, higher, at a higher level is it starts you know, burning more calories, basically, right? It starts firing more. So, and there's an enzymatic process where the nootropic passes the blood brain barrier back here. It passes the blood brain barrier, goes into the brain, and then there's an enzymatic process that happens where these enzymes and neurochemicals start pulling apart the nootropic and saying, I want the dopamine and I want the serotonin and I want the right. And so when that's happening, that, that puts an, an energy deficit on your brain. That starts using up, you know, right, the brain. So we're going to give you a very gentle stimulant. Some people get none. Some people get a lot depending on what they ask for because everything is custom. And that slight amount of stimulant, which is relatively short acting, covers the period where your brain is going into over, it's overclocking to basically do that enzymatic process so that it doesn't, you don't go, I'm going to go take a nap. And when I wake up, I'll be a rock star. People know about, about, um, uh, uh, there are, there are heroes in our past, great inventors and things who would take and um, like a, a, they, would have a, they would have their afternoon tea, like in the 1700s, 1800s, 1600s, they have their afternoon tea. And, and um, what do you do? Like Ben Franklin would have his afternoon tea, great inventor, great, right? Um, he, would, he would then hold in the, between his, his thumb and forefinger, he would hold the, the teaspoon above the tea, um, uh, the saucer, and he would fall. He would go back in his chair and do some deep breathing exercises. And as soon as he fell asleep, the teaspoon would fall out of his fingers. It would clatter on the on the um, the teacup, and that would wake him up. And then he would be able to to have another four to six hours of hard work because he just went under. And it's that energy cycling that you can program, and nootropics are a great tool for that. So that when he came out of it, he could operate well. Well, we do that neurochemically instead of having to go into that sleep cycle. So it's amazing. So, so the simple answer to the question is that there is a, a permanent change in in the brain, in the neurotransmitters. You become okay. permanently, let's say, smarter. Right. <laughs> it's it's a lot more, let's say, complex than that. It's like you said, you don't. You don't get stuck on on anything that you used to get stuck on before, because now you form new neural connections and you take every experience. I had so many things, crazy things happen to me the past two months while I was taking the nootropics. And I'm like, I just go from one thing to the next. I don't get stuck. I learn the lesson. I move on. And that's such an amazing trait. And because I was burned out, I wasn't able to do it before. I was getting more. I was like, why did this happen to me again? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. 
No. And so there's, there's a thing called BDNF or brain derived <laughs> nootropic factor. Mm -hmm. And, and so brain derived nootropic factor basically is, is the precursor to um, neurogenesis where you're creating new brain cells. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we learned in, in developing new brain cells and, and making that happen is, is that when you do that, you want to be doing something that challenges you a little bit. Not necessarily the hardest thing in the world, but at least something that challenges you. Because if you don't, what happens is you get these brand new brain cells and then they just fade. But if you do something that challenges you or you, you put a, some, a task before you or uh, some complication or a, a challenge, what happens is those brand new brain cells that you've given birth to, they're going, okay, come on, let's go play. And you start, you're right, right, you start articulating those. And suddenly- It's a good thing that I had all these things First of all, I had a lot of things to do because I was procrastinating. So I was launching so many projects. Second, I had a lot of negative things happening that I could handle so easily now, fast, go, go, go. And then I moved on. So it was a good thing that this happened to me the first two months oh, of my neurotropics. Absolutely. In fact, it's a very powerful thing. I mean, it's, you know, we, 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 you know, as humans, we like to go away from problems and challenges. Mm -hmm. But as, as human beings operating in an environment that is not necessarily going to be totally compliant to our will, it's super important that we learn how to face them. One of the things that can help us face them is having our brain so lit up that coming up with the, the solutions to those problems in a creative manner delights us. It actually makes us feel happy. Like I, there's nothing that makes me happier than that aha moment of of struggling with a problem for days or weeks or months or years and sending, having, asking the question, what if I did this? And then realizing, aha, there's going to be a positive outcome on that and being able to float into that outcome. It's so empowering. And suddenly the problem is the source of joy and delight and happiness and serotonin and dopamine, right? So yeah, yeah. great stuff. I love it. And what I love about your company specifically is that because I'm into education, I know we need to educate people. If they're going to make a change in their life, you offer a lot of education on optimizing the brain. And I was reading the books uh, that come with the nootropics, the book and other books that by optimizers, a company that yes, the brilliant mind blueprint. And I did a lot of these things before, like the meditation, the exercise, a lot of the things and then the nootropics came and I was already, the book says, if you're already optimized, then this will work faster. So I want you to give us, to give to people some tips out other than nootropics yeah. that will help their brain to upgrade and operate at this, at this limitless level. And these things, they also optimize your nootropics if you do them. So what yes. are some tips uh, of things that we can do to optimize our brain? So that's a great question, by the way, Felina. Love it. One of my favorites, actually. So um, uh, the, the, the promise of nootropics that was kind of artificially created was you take a pill like Bradley Cooper did, and suddenly you become great at everything. In reality, the, this is a lever. It's, a, it's an empowering technology that you still have to put to work. You've got to plug it in. And the plug it in can be as simple as when I wake up in the morning and I, and I, I do a, a 20 minute binaural meditation every morning. So, or try to do it every morning. And, um, and what I do is I put on a pair of headphones. I've got a, I've got a, a, a thing called Paziz, P-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z. It's a free app you can get off, off of, um, you know, the app stores. And I, I put that in, I close my eyes and I, I essentially kind of quickly go through the challenges I have for the day, things I get to do today, not have to do, they get to do, right? That's an attitude change. And then I do this 20 minute, and what I do is I breathe really deep. So I'll breathe, it's called box breathing. And I learned it when I, I studied um, transcendental meditation when I was very young, if, starting at eight years old. And, and so one of the things you do is you, you basically feel for your heartbeats, breathe in, and count your heartbeats. So you're counting in your head. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you get to the top of your breath and you count the number of heartbeats as you're holding your breath until you start to feel that little tiny tinge of, I've got to let my breath out. And then you 
again, you're counting in your head, starting from zero. And then you let out your breath. And as you let out your breath, you're counting down as you're letting it all the way out. You let it all the way out until you have no breath left in you. And then you hold at the bottom until you feel the pressure to inhale again. And you keep doing that. And it, it's amazing. One is the counting gets rid of any extraneous noises in your head. All the different thoughts today is to-do list, the panic, you, you know, call, all that stuff goes away. The counting does that. The breathing with your heart rate puts your body into state. And it, it essentially reboots your system into a very cool, almost zen-like state. And so it's a fantastic way to kind of reboot your system. So that's one thing. Number two is when I go and take a shower, like I, I, I sometimes do oxygen therapy in the morning um, called EWAT, exercise with oxygen therapy. We, you know, where I'm breathing pure oxygen with some of our nootropics, breathable nootropics we've created um, with uh, pure oxygen while I'm on a, on elliptical. Actually, and, um, oxygen out of the, all the things I tried when I had a burnout, breathing oxygen, I went to this place was one of the top things that helped me help my brain. So oh, so. it's incredible. And it, it is another source of BDNF, um, especially when combined with things like nootropics. One of the components we have in almost everything we create um, is called Celastris paniculatus. It's an Indian um, a black seed oil um, a seed, and, um, and it increases oxygen transfer into the into the brain through the blood brain barrier. So it increased the oxygen in your brain. So you take that and then you do oxygen therapy like we just talked about. That's a, that's a game changer, big time. Um, and it's, it's incredible for other reasons as well. But, um, and then what I'll do is, is I'll take a shower. Um, I'm, not a, I'm, not a, I'm not one of those cold shower guys. I, God bless them, you know, Ben Greenfield uh, was, you know, he said, hey man, you gotta you got try this. I'm going, yeah, thanks Ben. I'm not- <laughs> someday but what i do in the shower is i put my hands against the wall and i do air squats until i get to to the point where i can't do an air squat anymore so and what that does is aside from you know increasing circulation obviously is the large muscle work that it takes for your quads as you're doing that are going to increase your release of critical hormones for your body and that increase in hormones like for me testosterone is one of those um, it's, it's fundamental. And I feel like a rock star when I get out of the shower. <clears throat> so those are two things. And the other thing is you want, when you're taking nootropics, blood flow helps to, you know, increasing blood flow will help to get the, the, the circulation of the nootropics through the blood brain barrier. So you want to do that. And so those are, those are a couple of critical things. One of the other is is if you want to if you want to hot rod your nootropics, you can do a couple of things. One is like you know you and I we get to sip this stuff throughout the day. One of the other things you can do is take us a, a, a form of glucose through like I, I saw, talked about grapes earlier uh, work really well for me. Um, any of those kinds of things can work really well. Those you know those gel packs that that um, that uh, athletes might use like marathon runners or bicyclists. Those are typically like a honey based. Um, glucose pack that can that can do really well or get yourself into ketosis like go ketogenic and ketosis is also a great way you know the ketones will burn really fast and they're also actually a natural nootropic and then make sure that you sleep like a, a couple things don't think in terms of time management of your day think in terms of energy management mm-hmm. how do i feel how's my energy level how's my output am i fighting uh, am, I, am I fighting my performance curve and I'm actually fighting the fact that I need to go take five minutes and do, you know, like Pomodoro technique? Like, do I just need to go shut myself down for five minutes? Do I need to take a, a nap? Do you know, a short nap, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes? Do I need to go take a walk around the block? Rebooting our system regularly can be very effective. There's a guy named Tony Schwartz and his partner, Jim Lohr, who wrote, um, a, a, they've got a website called The Energy. Um, uh, theenergyproject.com, and they talk about um, about energy management versus time management. Really, really powerful. And then, most importantly, almost most importantly, um, in fact, we even created a product for it. Here is sleep. Is getting whatever your body requires as as a sleep time is super important. Matt and I have a tendency to want um, you know seven and a half to nine hours of sleep. Wade, Matt Gallant, who's the CEO of our company, and, sure. and Wade Lightheart is president. Yeah, and, and this company has helped me sleep like a baby as well. 
<laughs> awesome. Yeah, our mag is killer, right? Um, is um, so they they um, Wade is the opposite. Wade Wade can get by with five hours sleep, and he's a rock star. So, um, so there's these different sleep cycles, but find your sleep cycle, learn what it is, learn when the best time for you to go to the bed, to wake up, if you want to wake up at 4am, probably shouldn't go to bed at midnight, right? Maybe, maybe going to bed at eight or nine or, or 10 is better for you and get you better sleep. So know what that is. And then we make this, the solution again, I'm not pitching. I'm just sharing, <laughs> but we make this thing called mental reboot during sleep. Love it. Right. It, exactly. During sleep, your brain shrinks. Mm -hmm. And when your brain shrinks, it opens up around the capillaries. Then you've got, you know, thousands of miles of capillaries in your brain. And the cerebral spinal fluid flows past those capillaries and starts sucking out the, the, the crappy proteins and other things that are, that are kind of keeping you from, from performing the stuff that builds up from, from when the mitochondria are creating ATP. Well, it's also pooping in your brain. So it gets rid of that stuff in your brain, the tau proteins, the beta amyloid, right? The things that cause dementia and Alzheimer's, those are things that build up over time and a byproduct of the foods we eat or our stress levels, or, you know, the fact that ATP is going. So you want to extract those. And so we built a, a, a program and a product that helps extract those during sleep. And it amplifies the body's own natural neural cleansing process or neuro detoxification process. It amplifies those so that you get a cleaner brain. So then when you wake up in the morning, you're clearer already. The nootropics work more effectively. Your day starts better. You're happier, right? You can, you programming your states is easier. So that's a really important. So those are my, my, my big suggestion, you know, exercise is huge. I, I have a, the building I'm in right here, we've got three layers of steps. And so uh, three, three flights of steps. So we'll sprint up chastity behind me or myself. We will sprint up the steps with our dog, Augie, wherever Augie is, Augie's over here. Um, we'll sprint up the steps and get the blood flow going. Uh, I feel like a million bucks. And it's amazing is that you fight it. You go, oh, I don't need to go do that. And then you go, screw that. I'm going to go do it. And you do one. And then it goes, ah, that was fun. I'm going to go do three. And then by the time when Augie gets involved, when you, you know, take the power solution, especially when you take the power solution, I become a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> power solution done. rocket pavlina the rocket <laughs> power solution pavlina <laughs> uh, there's so many things I, I want to ask you but we need to wrap this up soon but there is one question in my mind because you and me we've been through similar things and you said your wife was addicted to these painkillers and i was yep. I never shared this story but i was addicted to, uh, i was at no sorry i was dating this guy who was addicted we were living together for three and a half years and he was addicted to painkillers he wouldn't talk to anyone first then i realized yep. they caused so many things he was sleeping all day had aggression that was the reason we broke up because he wouldn't go to a doctor so i've, I've been through that it was a really really painful experience to be with a person like that and not being able to help them he didn't want to help himself so can nootropics help help people with these kind of addictions get off their addictions maybe a short answer i don't know i don't want to go into medical sure issues, but if people are listening to us now and they're taking different kinds of drugs for the brain i know many people who are taking medication um either the doctor gave them the medication and then now they can't get off it or they take these painkillers on their own whatever they find on the internet or i don't know where they find them they take them, they're addicted. Can it help them get off this medication and be normal again? Well, I think you, I think you did a good job of prepping this in the, I'm not a medical doctor, but I play one on uh, YouTube. <laughs> and um, yes, so here's my experience. And, and by the way, we've got, we've got like literally thousands of customers that text me. I've been doing this for a while who say, thank you so much for helping me get off of X. Um, one of them that just came through is, um, is the brother of a very famous entrepreneur in Silicon Valley who built the first file sharing um, software uh, website. We all know who, probably know who that is. And, um, and he said, you know, thank you so much for getting me off of Adderall. He goes, I was, a, I've been addicted to that's the stimulant effect of Adderall and the dopaminergic effect of Adderall. And he was able to do it with, with, you know, our focus savagery product 
Um, he's been taking that for over a decade now. And it's, you know, it's a life changer. And for me, um, a, a few years ago, I got in a, in a critical bike accident where three of my ribs broke and, um, and pierced my lung. So I had internal bleeding. I broke my collarbone. And, um, and the expense of going to the emergency room, I knew what the, what the bill would be, was too much for me. And I just, and I, I'm not a big, I'm not big on hospitals. I never have been. Um, so I, I, the same product because of the way it works with GABA and, um, and dopamine, it was, I was able to use that as a way to tone down the pain so I could bear with it long enough to get the healing. And then, I, and then I accelerated the healing with another solution we make. Addiction is a very, very complex and unique and personal experience, as you know, as you know, with your boyfriend at that time and, and with my former wife and a bunch of my friends. Um, even, you know, Matt Gallant was at one time, he was an addict and he talks about that and how he was able to get off. And, um, and one of the reasons he does what he does is because the, the nutrition and, and supplementation have been such profound, uh, such profoundly effective in helping him to, to stay the course and be who he is. They, what you can do, what I, what I know and what I saw in working with addicts was that when an individual knows who is an addict, knows that they can program themselves for success, the desire to, the, the, the hold that the addictive drug or, or compound may have on them is weakened. And as they start taking solutions that help them think better, think clearer, they start having a, they, they'll get this experience where they go, you know what, rather than getting high tonight or today or taking this drug that I, I think I need, I think I'm going to do this thing instead. And I'm going to get into a state that's going to, the, the end result for me is going to be more positive or more financially viable or more interesting or more loving or more kind or more experiential, or I'm going to make a pro I'm going to, I'm going to make the thing that I was built to make. And that is going to be my reward. I'm going to get my dopamine rush out of making the thing that I was made to do or, or helping the person I was made to reach out to and help or that. And that is the kind of the break the cycle of addiction. 101, I think is right. I mean, in the 12 step, it's write down everybody you've ever done anything bad to or offend anybody and let's and go address those. Right. Well, one of the best ways to do that is to go offer them something valuable. I'm sorry, and my life has changed, and here's how it has changed. So anyhow, that's kind of my short answer to, to a question that could go on forever. <laughs> Amazing. I think this is a future, and I have in the past introduced things 10 years in advance to people, and in the beginning, it's like, oh, what is this? Is it safe? It's definitely the future and this company is pioneering because I am a, a supplement junkie. I try everything and this is something else. So I want to ask you like, what makes Nootopia different than all these other nootropics companies that are coming out? Um, I know you work with, you work with top Silicon Valley CEOs and founders. I don't know if you can even say some of the names, but these people started taking them first. So what makes Utopia different and where can people find, how can they get started with this? So um, one thing that makes us different is that we are, we literally, um, when, you, when you get our products, we walk you through a 30 day um, path to success for you. So we show you, okay, you're taking this. How did it make you feel? What performance increase or decrease did you have? How did you like the experience? How long did it last? These factors. And then any comments you want. And then we customize each of the products. Every capsule, every, every capsule that we make, you'll see something kind of unique to our stuff is, here's, a, here's an example of a capsule. Mm -hmm. So that capsule is custom made in our laboratory in, in Vancouver, Washington, right next to Portland, Oregon, by one of our individuals there who is a, an, an expert in customizing that specifically for your neurology and your goals and any problems you may have and any meds you're on and the vitamins you take and your eating habits and your sports, all of that, we customize each of those for you. Yes, 
Focus Savagery is going to give you a very specific effect of increasing dopaminergic and GABAergic activity so that you can focus without being an yeah. asshole. That's, a, that's one. But we also tweak it for you so that, because certain people want way more dopamine and certain people just need a little bit of dopamine. Certain people want more GABA in that. Certain people want less. And so we were able to adjust that for you. So that's one. The customization aspect is one. The journey, the the 30 day journey that we take you on to help you optimize your own neurology and physiology. You can take this journey with or without our products. You don't need our products to take the journey. They just help <laughs> and it's built for that. And then the other is that we continue to customize them for you every month so that you get better and better and better. And we get better. I remember our first conversation, you're going, I'm having a problem with this. I don't know about this. I, I and I'm not sure if these will be uh, effective for me but I really like this and I really like this and I really like this. So he said, great, let's make those things better and let's take the other ones and make them even more effective. And then we got them to you. I think they just arrived short, a short time ago. So you'll have an opportunity to check those. So, so that's, that's really kind of what makes it the, uh, to reach us. Um, I'm hoping that um, I think we've probably given you maybe a coupon code or, or something you can share with your audience. I do have a coupon code. Um, I ask for it because I, I wanted to share this with my clients. So it's like, what, what can I do something better for the people who follow me? Because I know them. They're entrepreneurs. They're high achievers. They want to be at that optimal state. So I have a coupon code, Pavlina. My name is just my name. And you get 10% off. But you go to notopia.com and you take a test there. You start with this test. Uh, what does this test show you? Because when I took it, I was like, it was, I, the results, it was exactly what I felt. Like <laughs> I needed all the substances when the, when the results came in, I was like, okay, <laughs> like, uh, so I love it. what does this test, uh, the first test, there's a first test that you take. Yep. It's a free test. So right? the first test is a, is a neurotransmitter test. And what we want to do is we want you to have a report to know what your neurotransmitter makeup is. So are you predominantly dopaminergic or are you predominantly serotonergic? Are you, do you have a good acetylcholine flow or do you have poor acetylcholine flow? How about your GABA levels? Do you feel relaxed most of the time or do you feel high anxiety? And then that gives us a baseline that we can start with on the neurotransmitter side. And then after you order, or I don't, I don't know, maybe it's before you order, maybe. Think, we do yeah, an, the order, you fill in another questionnaire, very yes. much. A long, a long one so that they can customize anotropics. Right, exactly. And what we want to know then is what are your habits? What are your goals? What's your health condition? What meds are you on? What vitamins do you take? Um, how often do you exercise? What do you eat? And then we are able to build those custom neurotropic capsules, powders, and spray specifically for that and match you up. So Amazing. So for those of you who stayed until the end, for sure, go to notopia.com, take the test. And when you order, because you should try this, see your results, use my coupon code Pavlina to get your 10% off. <laughs> and I want to leave, uh, I want to close this with, I want to ask you, you're a serial entrepreneur, you've built so many companies. Uh, you're still very young. Uh, I don't know if you want to say, you're like, you look so I'm 60. Young. I'm 60. So yeah. <laughs> So I'm young. an old guy. So, uh, what's, what do you want your legacy to be? You've done all these things. What do you want people to say about you, know about you once uh, I, I, you leave this planet in a hundred years because you're by a right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me and Dave Asprey high-fiving on the way out, right? <laughs> um, is, so, so thank you. So, by the way, that's a, that's a fantastic question. I love that. And it's important to me. In 1988, I was meditating and I had this thing come to me and it was um, your life mission is to make a monumental contribution to every life you touch. So I hope and pray that when I leave this mortal coil, that, um, that the people that gather around and say, you know, that this Mr. Newt's Mark Effinger, that he made a positive impact on me and that that impact is something that I'm able to pass on to the next generation. I, I don't want it to be a one-stop shop. I don't want it to be the end. My mother passed away recently, in fact, um, right at the end of January. And when she passed away, I was just finishing. It was the last day of doing a 
uh, uh, brain training, five days of doing biofeedback, neurofeedback. It was incredible. And, and she passed away. And um, my brothers and sisters, I'm one of six kids, they got hold of me and said, hey, we need you to sign off on this because mom is giving her body to science. So she, she devoted her body to science, which is like, what, I mean, what an incredible, for, for a scientific, her science son, right? I'm the science guy in the family. What an incredible gift for my mother to, I mean, that's like a high five for mom on the way out, right? Is, is I want the world to benefit from my lungs and my skin and my eyes. And, you know, I, I think that's amazing. And I want to have left this mortal coil with, with having made, I, I want people to have, live longer lives, live healthier, have more fun, have better sex, have, right, you know, be able to run longer and harder and be able to really enjoy life in, in a profound way. And I hope that I can make a, a, a sliver of contribution to that so you've definitely made that contribution already in my life and that's why you're here on my youtube channel and uh, because i want everyone to know when I, whenever i find something great i want everyone to know i'm not one of those people that want to keep it a secret because i want to be the smart <laughs> i want everyone <laughs> to benefit i want to improve people's lives so thank you so much thank you for your time it's been a pleasure and uh, every day when I take your tropics, I, <laughs> I think about you and your contribution and I thank you and I'm grateful. So have that in mind. <laughs> You're on my awesome. gratitude list. <laughs> thank you so, so much, Pavelina. You're awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, um, keep up the great work and I'll keep enjoying, enjoying the work. And I hope thousands and millions of people around the world will, will enjoy your work as well. Peace out. Right on, man. Thank you. All right, you're awesome. I appreciate you. Be well, and I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Bye.